Hello and welcome to Derp Shield Tutorials on Chromaticraft. In this series, we'll be going over some of the basic mechanics of Chromaticraft, how to uh, progress through the mod a little bit, and uh, how the some of the blocks and items work in it. Because Chromaticraft is an exploration and a figure it out type mod, but some of the things are a little bit opaque and a little frustrating to figure out. So if you don't mind a little bit of spoilers, I will be showing you how you, to use some of the more complex items. Alright, so first off, when you start into the world, you will start with a chromatic lexicon. I just have these items for movement, so ignore them. Uh, you will need to craft yourself an elemental manipulator pretty soon. You'll get these crystal shards right here by finding the cave crystals, which also happens to be what I suggest to do for your first progress flag. Luckily, I know where one is, and it's right down here. It is a pink cave crystal. You'll notice that we gain the tangible energy up in the upper right hand corner. That's because if you go into the chromatic lexicon and in the progress tab, you have these progress flags and we have learned about the tangible energy. Note that if you haven't learned about it, the bottom text is weird symbols that you do not understand. But once you have learned it, you will get uh, plain English or whatever language you happen to speak um, if it's been localized. So what we want to do is, you know, bash this with a pickaxe and you'll get some shards. Now I got pretty lucky and got six shards right there. Normally you'll get one, uh, you'll get one to six or approximately when breaking it without fortune. You'll get more with fortune. Um, so if you happen to have fortune, that is good. The next thing that I suggest that you do is find yourself a pylon. Note I would not suggest doing this with many pylon colors. Uh, colors that I would suggest avoiding, like the plague, is Kajani, which is. Uh, this symbol right here, I would also suggest avoiding Yikri. I won't tell you why, but if you faceplant into these pylons, you'll probably end up in a sore spot. But anyway, you'll need to make your way over and get in range and directly look at the crystal pylon. You have to be within punching range in order for it to work. And you'll notice in the upper right hand corner, we gained Isvestate, Energy Beacons, and Damaging Discharge. That's because we learned that this is a pylon, which is a source of crystal energy. We learned that it is the color green for um, Isveste. We also learned that pylons are mean and will attack you if you are nearby. Uh, so three things to note about that. Now, since we have learned that, we can internalize the energy by uh, looking at it and holding right click with our manipulator slightly in range of the... Um, glowing outline around the uh, gl glowing outline around the screen now if we head over here we uh, there's another pylon and a bunch of things that I have set up for the tutorial series now uh, this is the agria ow, ow, uh, pylon and as you notice I got a little too close and it is not too happy with me so I'm gonna heal myself real quick but if we're looking at the ball and hold right click we can internalize the energy from here and at a safe distance, and we will also gain the Agria color uh, knowledge. So that is how you go about discovering all the colors. Maybe, um, one thing that I would suggest doing um, is, where are you? is to make yourself one of these crystal compasses. But I'm pressing R in here right now, trying to make the recipe. Oh, I, I can't make it like that diamond pickaxe. I wonder why. Well, that is because we do not have the fragment for it. Fragments are gained from the chromatic craft structures. Um, in the chests. I'll let you find those on your own because that is part of the exploration of the mod. But you'll be looking for these things called info fragment blanks. But when they enter your inventory, you'll notice that they get um, they get turned into this one got turned into casting table, and it'll appear in the upper right hand corner. So I'll just grab a few of these guys until they are all blank. So that they're all blank now, pretty nifty. Uh, learn whatever uh, all those things are, and how you use them is you bring out your book and stand on something, hold shift. Then right click to open up this GUI and then you just toss the fragments on in. 
Now, pretty very soon in the progress tab, I'm not sure which one of these you have to do. I believe you have to um, uh, get a couple of the progress flags before you can do this. But eventually you'll be able to make the pile on compass. The pile of compass is nice because when held in your hand, it tells you the direction and distance for all the nearby pylons. Now, for some reason, that was a uh, pink pylon, but it is now a... Uh, gray pylon don't really know what happened with that um ignore it i guess i have updated my packs on starting this tutorial series uh, because it is the dev pack for the server that i'm playing on in any case that is how you progress to the mod you pretty much just find these progress flags figure out what you need to do for them some of them will be question marks until you have everything that's attached to them like the evil realm you need to follow this green line way over here, which is world floor. And I'll let you figure that out because world floor, pretty simple if you think it through. So anyway, that is uh, the beginning progress in Chromatic Raft. Additionally, as you progress through the mod, you'll notice that more and more things become visible to you, like these aura blooms right here. You weren't able to see them previously because they were hidden knowledge. You uh, break them to get some aura dust. They do interact with the fortune enchantment and uh, they have a special interaction with the bedrock pickaxe. Pretty much it allows you to get more dust per plant. Which is nice since they are not a farmable plant. 